What is up, everybody? It's your boy Zani the Greatest, and welcome back to another YouTube video, man. Thank you guys for the like, liking, and 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 subbing, and all that liking, subbing stuff that you're doing on my YouTube videos, man. Y'all, y'all making my heart warm. Thank you guys for all the support and uh, all that stuff. So leave a like on this video, subscribe if you are new, and let's get on into some Dragon Ball Universe news and content. Yo, this next DLC, y'all, is finna be lit. Bro, like I'm telling you, let's just get on into. We got Gohan Future in the back watching this. Everybody, you know, watching the presentation. I hope you like it, Gohan. I hope you like it. All right. So first, you got Gamma Number One. So it's coming. Um. So they're gonna be obviously we know that's what's gonna be coming to the game. And so we have the new playable character Gamma One, but the move sets are OP as well as the costumes and things that we get so we're going to be discussing that right now so the first move set we get for Gamma 1 is going to be called Shooting Strike it's a special move it's a long range attack that fires light bullets from a ray gun if the light bullets hit you will chase it with a sharp jump kick so it seems like it's like you shoot something and then like if it hits you kind of charge on it with another attack that's a pretty nice, that sounds pretty dope. We're just going to keep moving through this. Hero Assault, special room. This is like a, some strike skill. So it seems like he's going to be a very strike base. I'll, I'll rush, it, it's going to be a rush into the other party and close the distance quickly. If you enter an additional button during the rush, you will attack with a tackle. Also, if you are attacked during the rush, avoid it lightly and fight back with a ray gun. So this is basically like a counter. It's basically like... Okay, if I hit you, okay, good. But if you hit me, I have something after that. Like, it, I don't think I've really seen this quite before, where it's like a you hit and then you counter back. Where, like, it, 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 though as, like, other moves, it's like you have to wait for them to hit you first and then you counter. I don't know. It's, it's that, that's, that's a pretty cool dope move. So, we have his ultimate technique. It's called Super Gamma Blast. The ultimate technique is a fire or laser from a ray gun. The performance changes depending on the charge before firing. If you charge enough, you can fire a bigger and more powerful laser. So, this, I don't know what to compare these moves to because I haven't seen, quite seen, or seen the description of these moves quite like these previously in Xenoverse 2, which is crazy because this game has been out for like six years. This is, seems like a pretty unique move set, and I think that Android or the Gamma 1s and 2s are the bridge and the we needed between not just Android characters, but the balance of strike supers and um k-blast supers because this is a quite a balanced character he's he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a balanced character he's gonna be fun to play with so i don't want anybody to shortchange gamma one i shortchanged him the first time i underestimated gamma one he's gonna be lit in universe 2 they ain't playing with gamma one all right super dragon shot that's the ultimate technique that we're gonna be getting it looks insane from this picture guys i gotta get this right it's called i'm not even gonna present listen has evolved <laughs> as the ultimate move of Son, Go Son Gohan, uh, own action. If the upper is hit to the opponent, we will chase it with the Super Dragon Shogeki. Again. So, these moves seem like moves and counter moves. Literally. It's like, prepare. I think these are going to be, these are going to be pay to win. I'm sorry. If, the, if one downside comes about these DLC, this is pay to win. Cause these moves sound sound like they can be not OP. Like if you just read it, oh that oh that sounds OP. I'm thinking about how the move is gonna be done, like without really seeing it and just go off the trailers. People are gonna be that's gonna be OP. That's OP. All right, then we got an awakening technique. All right, a potential of release. This is potential release, not potential unleash. So I feel like this is like basically the higher version of like it basically. Potential Unleashed 2, if you want to be, like, just real simple with it. In the movie Dragon Ball Super Superhero, a special motion that reproduces the scene where Gohan throws away his glasses and releases his potential Unleashed, your potential and power up. Unleash your potential and power up. So, this is an awakening technique, though. I've never seen Xenoverse... Use regular get now I'm playing. <laughs> if you watch Kevin Hart, now I've seen I've never seen Xenoverse put an awakened skill that was paid for. When have you seen Xenoverse put an awakened skill that was paid for? I just want if you want to you know dump that check me on that go ahead. But 
this awakened skill is obviously going to be for everyone and that's going to be good because i feel like they need another transformation that represents everybody that's why gohan's such a good character he's the bridge between the earthlings and everybody else you know he's a saiyan but he had that potential on the least side everybody in this in the races in xenoverse 2 can use potential unleash everybody probably can use potential release that's gonna be a big game changer. It's kind of, it's probably gonna, it's gonna have to be compared to Super Saiyan God or Super Saiyan Blue, just regular. It's gonna have to because like Saiyans have gotten so much love. I love Saiyans, but they got so much love. So we got a special move called Magic Flash, Hawk Charge, Explosion Rush, and these are all like, like I said, these I feel like these are all variations of the moves like he already already had, but they're just so enhanced. Like Magic Flash is bas basically my Senko, but. It's just a more powerful, I think, version and stuff like that. It, it, these moves look great. These moves look great. Also, moving on to the clothes. I think these are I think these are part of more likely to part of the DLC. I don't think they're gonna make these free. But Gamma One clothes. I'm gonna be whipping y'all cheeks and online <laughs> using this. Alright, as a new costume, get Gamma One's clothes, Gamma One's uh, helmet that make the red cape stand out, their hero look are now available both clothes and helmets are unisex let's be as cool as a hero crazy crazy now move on to the free stuff the actual free stuff um because i believe again they said gohan is dlc but that awakening i don't know i feel like the awakening is gonna be applied to him but i don't know they could give it to everybody that's my theory so then now we have all the loading screens that we had shown on Twitter. Uh, make sure you follow Dragon, Dragon Ball Hype solo plays. Those are good content creators to stay updated on. Yeah, th th this is crazy. This is nuts, guys. Look at this. These these loading screens are crazy. Just crazy. So, and we got a new raid quest. I'm just getting into these, so I'm just a little new to it. But we got two new raid quests added. Gamma 1 and 2 will appear, so they're going to be working together. Let's challenge the raid boss and get a new reward. I'm, I'm pretty sure the rewards are going to be crazy, guys. I'm pretty much crazy. But that is it. That is all from the Dragon Ball official website. I'm pretty sure it updated by now, but this morning wasn't updated right, so the translations might be a little off. But guys, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new. I'm going to be doing so a lot more Xenoverse 2 content too, along with Dragon Ball Breakers. Guys, we're just going to be kicking this thing off. We're going to get this, this engine cooking. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.